not, we're not talking about IP addresses, are we? Talk about number systems, let's not lose track of what, why we are here. It gets even better, right? Other applications of number systems, there are, um, so there's this notion of what they call crypt crypt cryptographic hash functions that are prevalent these days. Usually this is applicable um, to uh, security applications, right? Um, but it turns out that they have other applications for software like, uh, I don't know if people have heard of version control software like Git, for instance. Um, Git is just a, a simple software tool that allows you to keep track of um, the progression of whatever project you would be working on, you might be working on. And this is usually, um, I guess, projects that involve some sort of uh, programming or software development, right? So let's say you are working on a large project, right? Perhaps alone or with other people. Every time you make a change, a significant change to that project, what you do is you save the state of that project in a certain special way by specifying, or you commit the changes, right, to save the project. And it turns out that each, each point, each self point that you're creating has an associated commit message, right? Which is like this thing that you're seeing here. Now it turns out that uh, Git uses what they call a SHA-1 uh, algorithm, right? Uh, apparently it's a secure hash algorithm, you know, one. There's one, two, I don't know, three or four or something. But the way SHA-1, the way the SHA-1 uh, algorithm works is it generates a 160-bit uh, ID, right? Message digest, they call it. But imagine what you'd have to go through if you were to, to use the ones and zeros, 160 characters, right? It would be insane. So it makes sense that you instead use the equivalent what? Hexadecimal representation of the 160 characters that you'd be working with, right? So instead of 160, I do believe these are like 60, Instead of 160, you end up using um, 60 characters instead. Right? And you'd be thinking, but who cares? What if I, I want to use the bits? Turns out that this commit message is really important as you're working with, um, as you're visioning your, your, your project, right? You might want to roll back to a previous state. For you to do that, you need to specify which commit ID you want to roll back to. You might want to branch out from a particular um, message digest or commit ID, you need to specify that ID. It, life becomes a lot easier when you specify 60 characters as opposed to 160 characters. That's what we're saying, right? I don't know. Is this making sense? No. no. Sorry? I don't think that it's uh, Where did this start from? Where are we right now? What These are examples. Look at this, right? So if you look at Git, right? <laughs> if you look at if you look, what I'm saying about Git, oh, the way Git works is, uh, let me just show you just now. Git, Git is a software application, right? It's application software. It's application software that you use to, let me just show you. It's application software that you use to version control, to version control whatever software project or project you might be working on. So, uh, for instance, in my case, there's this project that I've been working on since, since when? Since April 6th. I don't know if people can see here, it was a Saturday, right? So from the time I started, I started the, uh, is it me or can people see? Hopefully. From the time I started this project on April 6th, every time I was making a change, I, every time I make a significant change, I save the state of the project so that I continue from where I stopped from, right? So I'm vision controlling the, um, the project itself, right? So I started on April 6, April 7, there's a time stamp as well here. April 7, I did something else, something significant, I saved the state. All the way up to right now, right? So, the, the way I'm saving the state is I specify, I commit the change, and when I commit a change, each change is associated with a unique ID. But the unique ID is represented by the software using hexadecimal format, that's what I'm trying to say. Internally though, internally, 
this, this um, commit message that I'm talking about, internally it's represented like so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so internally, uh, 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 how many how many 32s are we supposed to have for 160 characters? Five, right? Internally, what Git does is each of those each 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 one of these message digests I'm talking about this. What the software does is it uniquely identifies them like so. So each particular message is the equivalent of this. It's this long. So what I'm saying that this is not going to be very helpful to whoever is using this piece of software, right? So it makes sense that this particular representation, this stream of numbers is converted into a form that human beings can easily interpret. And lo and behold, hexadecimal format comes to the rescue. We are looking at examples where number systems are useful to human beings, right? Why are they letters? It's a number system, though. It's just a number system. What do you mean, why are they letters? We discussed them just now, but it turns out that the way it's base 16, and the way base 16 works is you first of all use 0 to 9, this is like the equivalent of base 10, and then the remaining eight to, is it F, uh, a kind of like uh, uh, alphabetical letters, right? So you notice that these, these commit messages that I'm talking about here, it's a combination of, it's not just letters, it's a combination of uh, letters and numbers. Can you see a two there, two F somewhere there? Two F, six C, D, right? Okay. So examples, right, of where number systems are quite useful. And it turns out that there are a number of these, of such examples. Incidentally, when you, you start covering 2021, 2022, I think, computer security, I do believe you are going to have a discussion of the various cryptographic hash functions that are available out there. So SHA-1, SHA-2, it turns out this, this is not um, that reliable these days. So I think circa 2005, they stopped using this. It's not as common use as it used to be, right? All right, so I was just showing you uh, the commit messages there. Well, those are 